like many of our, uh, our members, I'm sure, uh, I have mixed feelings about uh, how the race ended. Uh, on the one hand, obviously, I'm excited to get to work for British Columbians, delivering for them on the issues of housing, on health care, uh, and on, uh, on climate sustainability, uh, issues of homelessness, mental health, street disorder. These are huge priorities. Uh, on the other hand, uh, you know, uh, uh, my uh, competitor in this race, uh, a young woman uh, committed to uh, one of the uh, most significant issues of our time, uh, got a lot of people involved in the party, uh, and this is not how uh, I think any of us expected this leadership contest to end. Um, so it's, uh, it's mixed feelings for me for sure, uh, but I really am, uh, am excited about uh, getting to work for British Columbians and delivering for them, and that's why I'm looking forward to laying out uh, my plan for the first 100 days of the government under my leadership uh, tomorrow. Well, I'm uh, incredibly proud of the work our campaign did. We uh, signed up many, many people to the party. Uh, my colleagues and I worked hard uh, over the leadership campaign. Uh, I toured all over the province, the north, the island, uh, the interior, uh, across metro, uh, talking to British Columbians about the issues that matter to them. Uh, and uh, I don't think this is uh, how any of us uh, expected this to end. Um, right now, uh, my priority is uh, reaching out to those members who signed up uh, for Anjali uh, to recognize uh, the work that she did in engaging them on a really important issue, an issue of priority to me, uh, to our government and to our province uh, and to let them know that uh, I will be a leader for all of the members of the NDP but uh, more importantly for all British Columbians and that climate change uh, is an important uh, issue for everyone in our province.